Hello everyone and welcome to the finale cook-off on Sukaden 2. It's time to take down the master of the Black Dragon group, Lord Jinkai. He actually butted in after we defeated Retzo last episode, but I wanted to save the final battle for the final battle. I believe we're ready now. Uh, one thing I want to mention, last episode I wasn't sure if I had all the recipes. I am 100% sure that I have them all. Okay Jinkai, let's finish this. I'll show you the true power of Hayo of Siryu! Yeah, time to kick some ass on a big boy motherfucker. S fucking Jinkai is huge though, he's so crazy looking. But it's really cool. Alright, so anyways, this is it guys. For the power of the Black Dragon group, we must fight to the death in a cook-off. And our host as usual is Futan Chen. First, I'd like to introduce today's panel judges are... This Beastmaster has a close report with all animals, as you might expect. He's a strict vegetarian. It's Beto! Well, I think I know what my appetizer's gonna be. Just like his mentor, Dr. Juan, Tuna likes his patients warm and his Chinese food hot. Uh-huh. Lord Hauser is the core of the Muse Army, but who knew he was such a fan of Chinese food? Well, we got two Chinese food fans on the list. Here's a man of simple pleasures for breakfast. It's got to be miso soup and rice. Nothing else will do it. It's Taiho! Man, we did not get a very good set of judges for the finale either. But that's okay. Anyway, today's challenger is... Scary-ass Lord Jinkai over here. Grand Wazoo of the Black Dragon Group. It's Jinkai of Genbu! And now, the person we've all been waiting for. Our army chef. Hi -yo! Could have kept going with that for a while, but I didn't want to drag it out for too much longer. Anyways, what are we going to cook? We got Chinese food, we got a vegetarian, and we got a guy who likes miso soup. How boring. I got all these awesome things to cook. And I don't wanna, cause it's too much stuff. Who cares? Let's just make some shit. What's Chinese? Full course. We got elf course, salt, kobold course, rakaku course, Matilda course, and the Tinto specialty. Uh, I don't care. What else can we make? Uh, we got Genghis Khan, which can make futan chin chin, Koopa, Genghis stew, creamy stew, or Tom Yum soup. Steak, we can make sweetie steak, beef steak, Japanese steak, picata, and pepper steak. Sashimi combo, queen of the sea, sea treasure, ship combo, salad combo, or spicy sashimi. <sighs> I think I'm going to make sashimi for the dinner. You got to use, it's, it's actually smart to use some of the recipes that you win from other people. Uh, for some of these battles. Sweet syrup, adult stew, clear soup, mellow stew, and spicy stew. Let's make some stew for, for, for the appetizer. Why the hell not? Let's make some clear, no, mellow stew. That sounds perfect. For dinner, let's make queen of the sea. I like that sound. Sea treasure, ship combo, salad combo or spicy sashimi let's just make the ship combo why the ship not right what the ship and for dessert let's go all out let's make shortcake yeah all out my ass yeah all out my ass all right let's do it if we lose though as usual we will redo this so let's just see what happens i'm kind of winging it here i didn't really go by what they said they wanted like i didn't even make any veggies did i what the fuck is that guy doing over there he's cheating isn't he well, we'll know if he starts getting perfect scores, he's a goddamn cheater. I'm pretty sure he doesn't cheat. But he's just supposed to seem so epic, because this is literally the final battle. So he can be over there calling to his gods of light for help. I can't tell if he actually has long white hair. I guess that's what it, that's it, like his hair, it's long and white. It's not like some crazy like veil that he has on, which is what I always used to think it was. I literally think he just has long white hair. And it like goes over one of his eyes. Either that or he wears an eye patch, I can't tell. Anyways, for his appetizer, he made some heavy pilaf. Which, wow, super weak. There's no way in hell my stew gets that low score. Wow, I can't believe he got so weak on the first thing. 
Oh yeah, Mellow Stew. Thank you. Who had this? Who was the special soup guy? I think I got that from Gremio's recipes. Oh, here's his. This is the specialty of Jinkai right here, the Kaiseki dinner. Yeah, that one always has an awesome score. It doesn't matter who your panel of judges is. So you have to make sure your appetizer and your dessert are very good. Let's hope that my sashimi combo, or the ship combo, gives me a good score. Yeah, matched him almost perfectly. I think we got this then. Because my dessert, you can't be shortcake, not with spicy pilaf. What's with him and the pilaf, man? You can't have pilaf for appetizer and dessert. I feel like that was a cop-out just to make sure you can win this. Shortcake's going to give... I think I already won even without this. But Shortcake's going to destroy it. Wow, I'm kind of disappointed about how easy, easy that was. But whatever. The cook-offs really aren't that difficult if you cater to the judges correctly. The computer doesn't always do that. We beat him by more than we beat Retso. We beat him by 10 points. What a noob-ass... Freaking leader of the Black Dragon group you are. Well, I'm afraid it's time to say goodbye for now. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you never again. Bye bye And I said never again because that is the last cook-off in the game. There are no cook-offs that let you be able to play again. That is literally the last one you will see. Sad, I know. What? How? How could I have lost? It's impossible! hi -yo! I, I didn't do it alone. Antonio, Lester, Basha, Kretzo, Ryu, they were all behind me, cheering for me. But most of all, most of all it was Shan Min who gave me the power, the courage to defeat you. You fool! I'll never give you the Moonbird recipe to you! Never, never, never! The Moonbird recipe, Shan Min sacrificed her life for it, chefs all over lust for after it. Well, here's what I think of it. He tore up the Moonbird recipe. Should have set that shit on fire. Yeah, suck on that one. What did you do? The, that recipe was passed on from chef to chef for ages and ages. Cooking should be fun. I don't need something like that to make food that brings happiness to people. Don't start burping in the middle of dialogue now. Jinkai, stop this. Both you and I walked the path of the chef, but somewhere along the line, we lost sight of what's important. Retzo! Let's start again. This time we won't rely on secret recipes. This time we'll walk the true path of the chef. I don't know if Jink guy's down for that. Hey you! The victory is yours! I was fighting to make chefs of the world happy, but I was wrong. A true chef can never be happy unless the people who eat his food are happy first. It's hard to do that voice. You should go, Hayo. I look forward to seeing which path you choose. <laughs> that voice. That I don't. I don't know where that voice came from. It just decided to come out when I saw a big motherfucker. So is that it? Oh, we actually get an ending cutscene here. Okay. Gotta gotta cap off the cook-offs for the rest of the game somehow. Shouldn't mean I kept up my promise. You're gone forever. But. But. You got Min Min. May not be the Shun Min, but it's Min Min. Oh, so this is where you were. Hi, yo, those customers are getting hungry. Oh, sorry about that. I'm on my way. Here we go. Thank you. Is that it? That it? Well, back to work. Yay, we got our army chef. Yeah. Anyways, oh, is there more to this? Oh, that's right, the cook-off gets its own credits. I forgot because it's so awesome, it gets its own little side credits. Amazing. So anyways, that's the conclusion to one of my favorite side quests, like mini game type thing from any RPG ever, let alone Sukaden. It's my favorite in this game for sure. Um, it actually is so good, it got its own credits. Like, come on. What minigame in what RPG gets its own credits when you when you finish it? None. None, I tell you. None. That's how amazing it is. Apparently, the Tanuki group worked on that. So anyways, that concludes all the cook-offs for Sukaden 2. I hope you guys enjoyed the cook-offs as much as I do and did. And I'm sure this won't be the last time I ever do them in my life because I love this game too much to never play it again. Anywho, 
See you guys at the rest of Sukuden 2 of the actual LP, and uh, peace.